Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Happy and we are going to be doing another art discussion because I just love these, just absolutely love them. They're a great little uh, way for me to talk about art theory in terms of my artist practice while showing you some of my practical artworks that don't really get to see the light of day unless I'm physically either I've sold them or I have just let them loose. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs or anything. So this is the artwork. I'm gonna give you a quick preview and then have a little chat about it. This artwork is of an oil painting worth my trappers. Now I was very fortunate in 2019, I think it was, to go down there for a week with my friends who basically camped down there um, to keep it quite cheap because it was just after university. It's such a beautiful place to be. Using oil pastels, oil pastels, <laughs> oil paint, sorry, from Winslow Newton, this is how far I got with it. I didn't use any sorts of paint brushes I just used I had like a scraper like a palette knife kind of thing and then I had silicone brushes which you can see from all the variety of different mat making techniques within the whole process of it all and I got to the point where I was just like that's it this is it this is this, this is just finished and I didn't want to do any more because it still had that natural feel something is there but it's a very blurred vision almost like a bit of a, a small memory of how you remember that particular day and I just love how the clouds and all the little bits in between are just they stand out by themselves but they're not clashing even though some of the parts are still the same colour you've still got enough information to understand the landscape and how I felt on that day and how windy it was on that day as well, not to mention how windy it was. It's a really beautiful place. I do recommend that you go go there if you get the chance to, uh, no matter where you live in the world. For me, this is actually one of the very first paintings that I did of a landscape with oil paint, trying and failing so miserably for other landscapes. Once I created this, I just kind of stood back and went, this is enough. This is enough progression, but I'm getting somewhere. I'm finally being able to get to the point where I can physically understand the artwork and what the paint is trying to do. I'm not trying to tackle it. It's working by itself. I do have a larger painting of this landscape actually available on my channel and I will do a whole art discussion for it as well because I wanted to talk about this one first because it is just that important as the next stage because even though this one isn't as refined it's still a statement for that time. Landscape painting, one of the very firsts that I actually like <laughs> and agreed with to the stopping point. Many more came after this but this is the start of the whole landscape painting within my artist practice. So I'm going to give you a quick, I'm going to give you a proper close-up of this artwork and um, this one is available to buy for £60 plus posting and packaging it'll be about £5.50 within the UK and a bit more expensive if you're outside the UK on my eBay seller account it will show a different price so if you just let them know let me know when you send an offer over that you found me through my YouTube channel I will then accept the offer of £60 in the meantime thank you guys so much for watching Please like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. In my description box there are links to my social medias and also my eBay sale account which is where you'll find all my other books that are featured on my channel. Plus this lovely little one here. And there is also a PayPal donation page. If you'd like to make a donation please do greatly appreciate it. If you can't do any of that don't worry about it. Please just like and subscribe and I shall see you guys.